looking right now is kind of tough. Um, one, we're coming out of November sweeps, and air was retired. I know my summer last day is tomorrow. You know, special products and things like that. You know, then you're coming up in December. No one's around. You got holidays. Really, things are not going to start picking back up. They're probably like you know January. If you hit if you hit if you hit that window before February, the next February is all on. You know, because sometimes you don't get a lot of calls from the directors because like you know, around this time they're really kind of preoccupied with you know with with sweeps. So you got to get a little bit of that also. Um, and also like it also depends on where you're looking because like if you're looking for the on air side of things. You know, that's one. If you're looking, you try to get into the producer, the manager side of the producer. That's a fast track. You know, we cannot find producers. You know, at all. Uh, it, it's a major quest. <laughs> you know, if you have an open, um, my market or even my top twenty markets, it's, it's just tough to find them because there's so many people like you know who just want to be on the air. But like, if you if you're in a position where you can do both, that's really really cool. So. But I would just like, are you looking to smaller markets or you're just looking, looking at anywhere? Uh, to be honest, to be honest Bernie, I am looking at the lower 100, uh, at the upper 100, so anywhere between 99 to 200 and 15 I'm looking at. I mean, I'm just, I, I gotta be honest, I'm, I, I gotta be realistic. I'm not, you know, gonna go and apply to Boston, you understand what I'm saying? I, sure. I, I feel like not only am I not going to apply to Boston, I don't feel like I'm prepared for that market yet. Not kind of you know, well, you're not kind of prepared and everything. But no, I wouldn't say a layoff is not a bad thing as long as you're forthcoming about like, hey, look, I took some time off for X, Y, and Z, or or when well, you got to explain gaps in your resume, like I've had to do so as well because okay, you got laid off here, like oh, we're okay, well, all right, there's a layoff here, this happened here. As long as you're forthcoming about like what's happened or why you were been doing, or you know what, I just took some time off because I just you know, didn't feel out. I've now I'm kind of re-energized. So he's got to give a little bit of a little bit of that. So, you know. <laughs> Lindsay, hello there. I'm sorry for the camera real quick here. So, what are you looking to get into? Sorry. No. So tell me, tell me more about yourself. What are you looking to get in, get into? Um. So right now, uh, with RMG, I've already shot my newsreel. I'm hoping to land a either reporter or anchor position. Mm -hmm. Um. I know a lot about. Um. I have a little meteorology certificate that I obtained online, and um, my boyfriend does know a lot about sports. I know a lot about sports through him, and so he's thinking that maybe to diversify myself, I should possibly do a sports anchor reel as well. I, you know, if you have the opportunity to do that, this said, being as versatile as possible is always a good thing. If you if you're going to do well, you can do some reporting as well because we have you no know, a person who does weather and does great feature reporting. You know, if you're some you no know, and some of our MMJs that I have that I hired, oh wow, they have a sports background where I know if I. You're kind of breaking up there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I was saying being versatile is cool. It's a good thing to be. Because the last couple of MMJ, they've also had a bit of a sports background. So I knew, like, okay, with one of my main guys was off. I knew, like, okay, maybe I could have them fill in on a, on a Saturday or Sunday if I need if need be. So I'm saying it's good to have a um, little versatility on your tape. You know, okay, okay. Uh, just to showcase you know, a little bit of you know, all what you can do and give me some more options. I have when another. I, I, so I don't have to be completely versed in sports and know, you know, every single player for basketball or every single player for football. It would be, it would be good to have a good work. Look, here's the thing. It's also that you got to kind of tailor man you're going to. Say, uh -huh. like, if, like you're, if you're going to, like, I'm going to go to the top 70 cities in blue. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, say you're going to go, like, interview in Van, whatever. You know you want to familiarize yourself with that those teams if you're going to go okay, work okay. in that city. Just like anything else, like any place where you're going to go for an interview, 
you yes. got to study. You got to study up on where you were going. Due where, diligence. Going. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know. So I think it's a good thing to kind of, you know, to kind of have. So then I guess what I have, um, so my questions for you is that I finished up my tape at the end of August. I've had um, two, technically three interviews, um, and I've had one via email, I guess, application, but um, I haven't been picked up by any certain cities yet, and these have all been very small cities, like Victoria, Texas, um, San Angelo, Waco, and then um, the other one, um, I think they're looking at Anchorage, Alaska. Mm -hmm. But I still haven't just, I guess, I don't know what I'm lacking in terms of just what's on my tape or my resume or just because I have a business degree instead of a broadcast journalism degree. Well, I don't know. I'm not a public being and I do a lot of presentations in my in, in my business world, so. You know, sometimes it isn't about getting a flip in here. Um, and Waco, San Angelo, those places are not forever. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you just have to go and cut, you know, you have to go and cut your teeth. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And, be, and be willing to go to a place like for a year or so, or a year and a half, um, and just get that get those daily reps. It's just, you no, know, use a sports analogy since, you know, sort of time. the more reps you get, the better off you can, you know, the better off you can, you know, you are. Because right now, all people are going on is just that real. They yeah, want to see yeah. you day in and day out. And that's why, you know, the, you know, good starter markets are like, you know, any place a lot down for 70, you know, for 80 on down are probably good to start. You know, yeah, when, yeah, when, which is what I'm looking at. It was like 70 on down, and I'm debating if I should spend another couple thousand on a sports anchor reel as well. You know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know, if need, I, don't even, I don't know if you need to do that um, at this point in time. You know, I, I think it sounds like you have what you, you know. You've gotten some interviews. So something out there that people, that people are liking that you're getting some interviews or something. Uh -huh. So... You know, I would just kind of work what you have right now and just maybe take a no, just think about taking a plunge here. Now, you don't want to go someplace where you're going to be miserable. You know, I always tell people it's okay to say no to it. I'm serious. You know, there's like no Fargo, reason. Like Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> like Fargo? Fargo, North Dakota, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've had a friend, you know, that's had, I've had a school level friend of mine. I'm like, are you going to be happy there? Yeah. You know, so. Well, some places you can make work, you know. Hey, I, one of my first jobs in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Okay, that was the most boring place in the world. Hey, but I was there for a year. Another market got me to Tampa, Florida, you know, as a producer. So I made a jump from like from like ninety something to a thirteenth market. So, okay, you okay. Know, you can do that. So, so then, I guess just um, instead of instead of applying for MMJ reporter and anchor positions or morning traffic positions, should I also apply for assistant uh, producer positions? Could that also possibly be something that... If, if that's something in your background as, you know, as a, you know, as a line producer or something like that, yeah, or as an AP, yes, oh, most definitely. If you got, you know, if you got writing skills, you know, that you can, you know, that you can bring oh, to a yeah, new Oh, yeah, exactly, radio style. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely, definitely. I tell people right now, if you want to get on the fast track to management, um, producing is where. Producing, okay. I'm I'm kind of prejudiced in my background, but like I, I just see it, you know. Uh, if you can come in and you can come, you know have a good writing skills and command a newscast, you can really move quickly in a, a public radio. Um, let's see, just any, any questions in general from from anyone in the field. Yeah, but, but I, I was curious as a news director when you look at someone's resume when you when you get past the reel. Is there anything, um, granted, we, we, we're telling you what we do, but I was wondering, is there a certain type of reference you're looking for? And, and also, do, do, do awards or, or things that you've achieved, is that something you look at on a resume? Kind of what are the things that you're targeting in on, and who do you think make the best references? You know, references are great. I like them to be recent, you know, um, if, if at all possible. You know, like, you know, 
even I had to change my references up for my last job. I was like, geez, I've been using the same reference about five years. I haven't worked with them in like three. You know, you want to keep your references fresh. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, or they don't quite wow me, but like the nice thing, because sometimes they're, sometimes you get group awards. You're like, okay, this is like a station award that you kind of got. You know, you're part of some things. You're good to see. Um, resumes are, are, no, are great. I just want to make sure that one thing that you do have on your resume, make sure that you have a link to your work. Do not make it. I just had a resume today for, for a gig. Just, oh, send me. There's no link to your work. Okay, I go on. I go to try to find a person, but like, don't make me hunt for things. Um, so I think those are good things to kind of have. Um, you know, I'm not put up, you know, go on a little bit. I'm not put up. But I will look at gaps a little bit. It's like, okay, I see a gap here and there. To make sure, kind of ask about it. But look, I've been around enough to know like things kind of happen in this business. But like, it could be just something, you know, like time off, lay off, you know, because I I've known friends that you know that got caught up in the layoffs at ESPN you know, a couple of years back that I knew are still looking for work. They don't make them bad people. They just they haven't found anything. But it's always just good to know. No, but I won't look and see like there's any type of gaps. I will probably inquire about them. Um, it's like, hey, what was the deal here or whatnot? Yeah, and sometimes one thing, but still, I will, you know, do some checking around. I'm like, mm, okay, you worked here because 